and welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, you all know me, Neil, and Ryan the Bearded Tyke, as always, regular guest. Right, Good to have Ryan. Uh, so, we're going to cover quite a few things. We're going to cover Port Vale game, we're going to cover Rotherham game. But there's three things I want to start off with at the beginning of uh, the show to make it relevant and to lead into it. So, first of all, I've been uh, asked and I haven't got a problem with it. Anybody that wants to mention me, by the way, the can do and I'll read it out. So, Michael Sykes and Gary Tedford. In association with Barnes FC Supporters Forum and Forever Red and Tykes Talk, they wanted to raise money for the Barnes Christmas Toy Appeal, which aims to assist local families with financial hardship and organise events. It's been done by Tony Batty, so full appreciation to Tony Batty. There is some email addresses which I'll read them out if you want to grab a pen and paper to jot down. And there's also a bonus balls going off again to win some shirts, but a lot of money goes to that. I think it's £5 a number. So email address is gary.tedford at icloud.com and Michael Sykes at live.co.uk. Uh, you can do PayPal or bank transfer, which is ever easy. And again, it's all for a worthwhile cause for finance, you know, hard times for a lot of families what are struggling out of here with kids. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we'll go to on this day, November 7th, 1918. Uh, Will Bartop sadly passed away in World War, at uh, First World War. Bartop played on over 150 games for Barnsley and was part at 1912 FA Cup triumph. You know, wow, that them kind of days, 1912 yeah. FA Cup. Wolf will always be remembered, so it's you know, always read forever. I read which kind of leads into the game partly against Rotherham, but then we'll go to Port Vale. So, as you're all aware of it, uh, it's going to be his last game before the Remembrance Sunday uh, service. So, it's been put out on socials, and I'm just re-emphasizing re that, as he's said and done. Mm -hmm. to, um, if you can show your appreciation, obviously there'll be you know, a minute's silence and well respected by both teams, Rotherham included, but also where your pop is and stuff like that to uh, mark the occasion. Um, again, it's sad days and stuff like that, but things happen, and you know it's us to remember the uh, the previous wars and the current wars were still in still uh, in progress. Yeah, so represented so, right. Yeah, um, so that's the things I just wanted to uh, start show off with. Um, we will get to like match reaction and preview. So Ryan, I mean, Port Vale game will. Cass's mind yeah. back all, all that way back now. So Port Vale game, uh, pretty strong lineup. If I'm being honest, um, yeah. I thought you might have tinkered about it, but I thought, no, do you know what? It's, it seems a bit of a statement of intent, and I think it's possibly his strongest, strongest start in eleven I've seen for a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I, will, I have to say, I was really pleased with that because often with the FA Cup, especially in the first round, you see a lot. You, you know, you see a lot of changes. Um, so I'm really pleased to see that. He said what he, he he did what he said he was going to do in his interview, which is he wants to progress in this cup, you know. Mm. And, he, and he and he made a statement of intent, putting his what's probably his most uh, best available um, eleven at the moment, um, barring probably Adam Phillips, in my opinion. But you know, he's just coming back from an injury, so you know, I get I, I get that. So yeah, we're really pleased to see a strong eleven, mate. It were a really you know, it, it were a statement of intent to try to get to the next round. A lot's been made, and I, I, I kept an eye on this as well. Um, I half expected for some reason for him to put Slonina back in. We'd been a fair cup, but he didn't. He stayed no. with the, the what can I say, the unbeaten, the the, the starting eleven that finished previous game off. And I'm thinking, yeah. do you know what? That consistency, Max Waters again. Yeah, we're linking up with Keely Dunn and Humphreys. Yeah. That seems to be. A, a, a work in progress developing nicely. You see, Humphreys and yeah. Keeler Dunn are building up some kind of bit of a understanding oh, relationship there as well, mate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're definitely building up a really good partnership, them two. And this, like I said before, they seem to be pally with each other as well. Mm. You know, so, you know, obviously being, you know, linking up well upfield, but also being pally off field helps you to really build a really good working relationship. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, um, yeah, I, you know, I'm really happy with starting 11, mate. Um, as for the game, uh, I went to the game. I know I don't think it was streamed anywhere, was it really? I don't no, think it, no. I saw quite a few uh, messages coming through. Does anyone know where it's streaming? So, no. but you know, I went. I went to the game, um, and you know, overall, overall, we played really well. Again, um, we started off really well. Got the goal, great goal by Mark Roberts. Mm. 
And I think it would be a great setup, whether it were intentional or not, because where where Cardi would take Cardi O'Keefe were taking um free kick taking the free kick on edge area, Humphreys were dropping off here and dropping off. And they must I don't know if they thought that it would it, it were gonna obviously try and lay it off to him for a for a shot. Mm. And he's laid off and laid off, and he's just put it straight across front of the box. And Mark's got in front of the keeper. Robbo's got in front of the keeper and nodded it in. So whether that were intentional or not, I'm not sure. But it looked. Mm. Good. <laughs> I was going to say that some of it might have worked on you. Don't know. Do you? Some of it worked on like because it definitely because <clears throat> everyone was saying he's going to lay it off to him for his ear. He's going to yeah. lay it off to him for his ear because he got loads of space. And I don't know if that's what they intended, but he put it straight at pinpoint straight across the edge of the area with pace. And Robbo's just got there in front of the keeper and nodded it in. So. You know that would a that would a really good start, and I thought the first twenty five minutes or so we were really good. But after, I mean, t- the second half at first half, Portville started coming back into it, mm. um, and it were a bit it were a bit sloppy at times. Uh, it weren't terrible, but it were a bit sloppy. The goal were, should we say, shocking? Yeah, shocking, shocking's a good word for their goal. It were mm. a really bit a poor bit of fit. You know, it, 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 I think it was, <coughs> although O'Keefe had a great game, I think it was Corey O'Keefe that nodded it. He sort of tried to edit and he edited it backwards and he put them straight through. Yeah. But then when they've come in, balls come in, um, I think it were Earl that was sort of near goal line was in. He's tried to clear it, but he's done a really poor clearance. He's gone straight to the head attack and he sat, I mean, Killip can only go and spread himself. He sat Killip down and knocked, knocked it in. Mm. So it was a poor goal to concede. But what we're really glad, to, what's really good to see is they didn't let it get it down. And Port Vale did push us a bit, you know, towards the end of the first half. And I kept saying, because I was stood with James and um, and Art Oscar, and I kept saying, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for half time here, as long as we don't concede before half time. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to get into the lug oils at half time. Anyway, they come out for the second half, and it would just, we, just, we played them off part, man. Mm. We played them off part. And especially when Waters had done all right. So when Waters went off, but when Phillips come on, that front three of, that attacking three of Phillips, um, Humphreys, and DKD, mate, we took them. We just, we, 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 we the only, the, the only, and it is only a slight disappointment is that we didn't score more because we could have. Mm. We had some good chances. Russell were really, really good again. He, he yeah, he's been been shot from 25 yards, they hit bad again. Mm. You know, um, DKD had one where he, pull it, he got put through, put it to the edge of air, he's pulled it, pulled it a bit wide, but there was some, we were playing some nice football. Um, you know, and I think we thoroughly deserved to win in the end, to be fair. Goal, second goal with a great goal. Um, We'd had a we'd had a bit of a chance down that side uh, just a couple of minutes previous, and then obviously put, put the you, I think it was Philo that put um, put Corey O'Keefe through, and he's running at that much pace. He's pretty, put he a went, great ball in, and he's going to set up. He went missing there, yeah. Well, when he when he scores, so it's a great finish by D. It's a yeah. lo- lovely deft shot, you know, on volley. He's caught it on volley, and he's just he's just guided it into the bottom corner. And it was a really great, really good finish. But then he's run off, and you know, like normally run to the fans. Yeah. But that half, that half at away end went into it. <coughs> I thought, everyone thought, where's he going? And then yeah. Kyle, he popped up. Like, oh, God, he must have got up. <laughs> Helping him back <laughs> off at advertising, boys. Advertising board. Um, it's a shame that weren't caught on video, because that would have been comical. But, I mean, gladly, he's all right. He was limping a bit, but I think he shouldn't yeah. be. So, two two assists there from Corey. And then and then the penalty again. Good mm. ball outside. We put the ball in again. And, you know, their, their players clearly, he's clearly stopped Stephen Humphries from getting to it. Glad we got the penalty. Bit of a strange decision to give me a yellow card because that's denying a goal scoring opportunity. Yeah. Humphries will get to the ball and he's, and he's, and he's done him. And that's a clear, surely a that's a goal scoring opportunity. But, you know, mm-hmm. it's by the by. Phil, mm-hmm. you know, the most important thing is that Phil stepped up and put it in the bottom corner. So, you know, 3 1, it's game over. But after that, we had like a period of where, we must have kept ball for a good five, six minutes, you know what I mean, towards the end of the game. Attention. Really, so, really, yeah, some really good passing and moving and just killed game, get, killed mm. game and, and killed any chance of them sneaking a goal and putting pressure on for last, you know, into injury time and things like that. We just saw it out. I mean, there must have been maybe 60, 70 passes between us, moving mm. around, passing it about, moving where they didn't touch. It, 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 that, that were really sort of crucial few minutes that they, they held on to the thing and just killed game off. So I thought that were... I thought that was superb. So again, mate, another good performance. And and I have to say, Ben Killip, again, really, really good. Really, really good. Um, you know, his his kicking's great. I mean, yeah, he did he did he had a little bit of a thing when he rolled it out in first half, the one bit where he rolled it out in first half. And I think it were Robbo or or MDG that didn't realise it was coming towards him and their and their attacker picked it up straight mm. away from from rolling it out, so that was a bit of an error, but more of a miscommunication than it were an error uh, than a hang. And it didn't matter anyway; they lost the ball. We got it straight back anyway. But 
But that save he made from free kick, you know, one all. Great, by the way, it's a great free kick as well. It were, going, mm. it were definitely going in, and he's tipped it onto he's tipped it onto the post at full stretch. It looked great, great. It looked absolutely fantastic from Arnon. It was an absolutely mm. stunning save. So I think he's got to keep his place um, uh, moving forward now. Um, yeah. But yeah, overall, mate, really pleased with it. Really pleased with performance. It made the journey worthwhile. Um, you know, I enjoyed my Saturday night after that. Then <laughs> <laughs> made a weekend even better. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was going to say that. I mean, a lot of positives coming out of that, you know, game management side in it, you know, change and you've got a, a fresh free attacking players that we saw another goal threat because it, it, it brought another dimension to his game. Uh, Russell, rave reviews about Russell, Corey O'Keefe as well. People yeah. saying that Barry Cotter, I think, picked up, might have picked up an injury in the 21 game. So yeah, maybe he likely. might be out for a game against Robin. I don't know yet, but. Just a, a slight uh, little niggle there, I think. It's yeah. almost like keeping the same, same uh, old Keith back there. Yeah, I'd but, say yeah. we've got the wing back sorted now, Neil. Yeah, um, I was just, I was just about to say. We've got his wing back sorted with O'Keefe and Gent. I think we're. Gent seems to have sorted his, his own style out like now, where he's settled in. It probably took him a bit slow to get going, but I think. Oh, mate, he's, yeah, he's just games I've seen him is like settled in there. He's going to be, he's such a good young, he's so, he's exciting, mate, and he's only young, he's only 21. Mm. Mm. Um, so he's got a lot of experience ahead of him. Um, I think he's going to turn out to be an amazing player, mate. He's so he's full of energy, he's quick, and he loves to take people on. He don't always get it right with crosses and stuff like that, but he's trying to do it, and that's good. And a lot of time he is getting it right. Yeah, he's winning, he's winning ball back in advanced positions. He's getting back in his defense. You know, he gets back defended. He's got a great slide tackle on him when he's running alongside and putting a slide a slide tackle he times and beautifully. And he's 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 exciting. He's like an old fashioned winger. Taking yeah. people up, taking people on, going round them and trying to get a ball in, which is not shying away from Alton. No, yeah. Yeah. no, it's nice, mate. It's great to see. So I think I think we've got his wing backs sorted now. After much chopping and changing throughout the season, that's I think them two are going to be the ones moving forward. Right. So it's starting mo- anyway. Moving forward, then we're going to get onto it rather than game. Uh, yeah. We all know that it was it was from a Saturday to a Monday, from a Monday to a Friday. Uh, better for me. Me being on a Friday from being honest, having a Monday night for work reasons yeah, and that. Yeah. Um, you know, people like saying it's quarter past seven and it's not quarter to eight, it's half an hour difference. I kind of get that with people working and that. Robin's yeah. not a million miles away, so again, there's not a lot we can do. It's it's down to Sky, it's down to probably policing as well. Yeah, out of the club's hands as such. But you know, I think Robin will bring a fair bit. It's going to be a Yorkshire derby. I love derbies, me anyway. You know, absolutely frigging love derbies, me. Yeah, it absolutely. brings that extra spice. Under lights as well. I'm hoping that with form that we've been on recently, and not getting away from facts, just got to pick up that we haven't got a great home record. You know, let's turn that home record yeah. here. But you know, I'm not being Mister Doom and Gloom, but we've got, realistically, you've got to look at his own form. You need to start right that. Away from what we're doing there, we need to transcend that in here. And I, and I think, I, I personally think now, like what you've just touched on there, Ryan, is is starting to see now is best starting eleven. Yeah. And like I said, there with wing back sorted out. That's been a long, oh, outstanding issue going back probably to last season. If we're being honest, yeah. Who's going to play at right wing back? Who's going to be at left wing back? And now we're starting to see. Uh, partnerships, yeah. D- uh, player understanding partnerships because if you've got like a solid back three, you, you go it more or less picks it to send that your wing back are sorted. So that's your defensive unit uh, sorted. Another position that we've been in and out and debating about, and we're on about it off air, Killip or Gabby or Smith. So there's a few, but like what you've just been saying there, last two couple, couple of games, Killip haven't really done all wrong. So, no. Well, I just keep on that momentum. You know what I mean? It's like then you look onto midfield, and again, I've got to credit where credit's due to uh, Russell. I'm not, I want a great fan of him, but I'm starting to see that kind of player. But he had a great season with at Huddersfield, he's starting to come into his own. You know, a bit slow sometimes, a bit leggy, but as game goes on, he closes down, he presses, he offers that dime, different dimension, as does Max Waters. Yeah. So it's you're starting to see a bit. This is a question I'll ask you before we get on about Robin and game. Do you think that international break come at right time where it, your Daryl Clark two weeks to look, get your thoughts and process into place and coaching staff? Do you think that two week break for international helps us out? I oh, think it does yeah. after. 
Oh God, yeah, it come right at the right time, mate. It was almost perfect, really, mm. um, that we didn't have that game against Reading. You know, I, I think it was almost perfect timing because it needed sorting out, mate. They needed two weeks, you know, a solid get them up. You know, oh, I, I hope they thrash things out, you know, because they look a different side, mate. Mm. They look devoured of confidence. They looked fed up. They looked pissed off. They didn't look like they were enjoying what they were doing. And then since then, it's come back. It's been just night and day difference. And mm. it didn't mean that we're going to win every game. But the, the way that we're playing is the way that, you know, Daryl Clark said he likes to play when he when he, when he he did his first interview, when he started with club. Yeah. We're starting to see it. We're starting to see that now. And I know a lot of folk were saying about getting rid of DC and, and you know, getting Daryl Clark out. And I, w- I wasn't quite there yet, but it certainly didn't look like it were working. But, for, I mean, fair play. You know what I mean? Mm. It, it's been a massive turnaround. And I'm, and I'm so pleased because I don't want to be chopping and changing manager. I really don't. No, no. I want somebody to come in and solidify the place and, and build, you know, really build for a good few seasons. And it's too early to tell whether that's going to happen or not. But I'm hoping that we're looking at the way he's playing at the minute, um, where we're playing at the moment. We look, we look a good side. And mm. you know, getting John Russell playing really well is like getting a new signing, mate. And he's playing really well. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's he, that, just in that bit more of an advanced position. He is slow. He's not. He's not the quickest player in the world. But he's got really long legs. And when he picks ball up, he's so graceful. He looks so graceful mm. when he's running. When he's got ball. Mm. He's, and he's really good at holding it as well. He's skillful with ball at his feet. Mm. Um, and Matty, he can ping a shot, can he? You know, I know he can, he's, yeah. He's only, got, he's only got a couple of goals, and he's is it one or two goals he's got this season. Couple of goals, yeah, yeah. But is it, you know, that volley that he barred against uh, Charlton, his volley against Shrewsbury were a great finish. Goal mm. of month for me, if I don't know what got voted goal of month, but mm. certainly for me, I thought it was goal of month. Um, and he's and he's you see, he bent that one from twenty five yard keeper were nowhere near it. He no. absolutely don't keep a good and proper, and it hit bar, you know, and it hit bar. But he's winning ball back in advanced positions. He's spraying ball into the right area. So it's it's all really positive at the minute, mate, for me. Um, you know, so long may that continue. But like you said, we just need to see it home. It just feels like we've got a bit of a mental block at Oakwell. We just um, need to break that hoodoo. I thought we had done against when we beat Sheffield United and then beat ball, uh, uh, yeah. Bristol uh, Rovers. Um, you know, but we've had that. I mean, against Charlton, to be fair, we weren't poor against Charlton. No, no. It were a couple of defensive errors that cost us, you know, a, an absolute clangor from keeper that cost us in that game. Mm. But we were significantly the better team in that game. You know, I don't think I don't think the performance were poor at all caught last time out. No, no. I think, like I say, we look like individual error and it looks like Gabby paid the price of that and Ben Killip came in and like, look what he'd done there. So maybe yeah. that's, you know, that's a, a strong gaffer implementing his own thoughts just, it, just pick, it, it? yeah it's good to see that Nate. it's good to see the fact that he's prepared to make decisions you know he's done it with he dropped Cotter, he dropped Cotter yeah. yeah because you know he, didn't, he weren't even in match day squad on Saturday because of his performance against Doncaster in, in mm. Cope and it, mm. was poor, it, was, it was poor as well so were Benson's really poor both of them um, mm. you know it was a dead rubber game don't get me wrong it was a dead rubber game but like you said it's disappointing because they had an opportunity to yeah shine their hand up and say Gaffer I'm here mm. You know, and they didn't. They didn't, did they? It looked like no. they were sulking. To be fair, um, yeah. they were. They were woeful pair of them. So that's a, that's a sign of a, of a of a strong manager. And I think you know, making the decision with goalkeeper needed to be made. I think we, we all know that. Mm. Um, I'm not. I'm not so sure. Gabby is as poor as he has. You know, overall, is as poor a keeper as he's been showing in a few weeks. I think he's just. I think he's like just confidence and, and like his confidence yeah. has gone there. And I think that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're not saying he's a poor keeper. Been great. No, Kimmich's been great since he's come back in them two games, mate. His, his distribution is miles better. He kicks it really, really well. You know, he's quite well. He's good. He's good. With, he's really good with his feet. So, you know, and he's making good saves. So, <laughs> let's know, hope we haven't got many to make yeah. against Rotherham tomorrow. So, yeah, let's that's see. Thing. Let's uh, see. So, yeah, Rotherham game, we all know that, you know, a certain manager's coming, Mr. Evans. Uh, so, he's going to probably get a, a bit of see. stick. Yeah. Uh, we all know that they signed quite a load of players and that, but again, in a derby, I'm hoping that. I mean, my thoughts on on Barnsley, I think we will win three one. I yeah. just think we will. I think we'll beat them. Mate. Turn up. I think we need to take the game to them. I hope we get as well, Ryan. Um, especially with it being a derby game, any game it should be, but especially a derby game. A ref and a officials, you know, linos and that they understand that in a in a in a derby game and yeah, loud the game yeah, flow so. is best we can rather than be talking it. 
Yeah, I hope, I hope so. I mean, it's not that there's any. I don't think there's any. It's not like we, they are local. It is a local derby. Mm. I wouldn't say that we've got any particular personal problems with Rotherham, would you? No, I like, no. I, I, you know, I quite like Rotherham. I like you know, I like the ground. I've got no issues with them. It's not like we're playing Wednesday mm. or Leeds. You know, but still, it's still a you know, it's still for for for, for local pride. You want to you want to win the game, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think that. I know they signed a lot of players, but they signed a lot of old players. They signed a lot of players that are only on one-year contracts. Mm. They've got some good experience in there, but it just seems to be too many for me. Yeah. And also, if they, you know, if they were to get promoted, they're going to have to start again and do all that again. Mm. So there were no like it was just very, very short term. I can kind of see what they were trying to do, but it hadn't, I mean, it hadn't worked out. And if you look at if you read um, Rotherham fans' comments online, they're not happy at all. No, they're not. No, I'm surprised not after getting beat, beat uh, <clears throat> up on Tuesday. Oh, oh, sorry, last last Saturday, wasn't it, actually? Saturday, sorry. yeah. Last Saturday against, um, who did they get beat by? Cheltenham, at home, 3-1. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm surprised, Steve. I'm still I'm surprised he's still got a job. Yeah, I, I thought he might have won this I week. think so. Rotherham to advance in this season, they need to get rid of Steve Evans. Yeah. Uh, do you know are, what? Fans are happy. And a lot of fans, mate, have said they're not going to games this Friday. Well, I, I watched it that... Uh, I was watching it, mate, uh, the results and stuff. And after a weekend, and I saw it socials and I saw some at Rotherham fans and they were like, you know, f- far from happy to say the least. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking, I wonder, next 48 hours, I wonder if something's going to be done. And I thought maybe they were going to do it. I think, I, think, I think if we beat them Friday, be right tomorrow, sorry, you know, I think, I think he might be on his way. Because, you know, a club like Rotherham want to beat, like us, want to beat in championship, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and they just they just saw it and miss it, minute. You know, mm. the, 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 they seem to get a good result, and then they have a couple of bad ones, and they get a good result. You know, and really with that squad, I know, I know it's a lot of new players in together, but with the quality they've got in that squad, mm. you know, you'd expect them to be doing a, better than what they are. Than they are doing. Yeah. Mate. I think it's just Steve Evans' style of football. It's just not suiting them. It's like like a lot of the brother and fans are saying. It's just a bit dinosaurish. Mm. You know, game games moved on, kind of thing. You know, it's got a lot of time for Avram to be fair, because you, I see yeah. some of the traits to what we try. You know, what Barnsley, they, they try and we, we in the own means try and do it as best we can. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I've, so I've got a lot of time for Avram. Like you say, not like a Wednesday or a Leeds. It's a different kettle of fish. We have a, you know, Billy Big Ball. One of them clubs like, like us, mate, where the, the, the very club very similar to Barnsley, where the you know literally the vast majority, if not all, their fan base are from a local. You're not getting any outside yeah. fans coming from all over. Yeah. It's local people supporting the local club. Mm. You know, and you, you you've got you know you've got to admire that they're very similar to us. You know what I mean? So, like mm. I said, I've got, I, it's, obviously I want to win tomorrow. I want a bit of, yeah 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 bit of local bragging if you like. But I don't. It's not like we're playing Wednesday at all. You know what I mean? No. It's not. It's not. I've got anything personal against Rotherham at all. I just want the three points at league. It's just it being bragging rights, it being a, a, a South, yeah, yeah. South Yorkshire yeah, derby, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be the same start at 11. Uh, I hope it is. That, keep uh, uh, that consistency going, uh, Ryan. I don't know about you. Do you think same start at 11? Uh, only change I can potentially see, as long as uh, you know, injuries aside, is maybe bringing Phil Owen uh, mm-hmm. for, for what has, but not sure how match fit um, Adam Phillips is going to be. Mm-hmm. So Not yeah. a bad sub- impact sub to come off at bench for, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I think if I'm if I'm being honest, if he were fit, I'd rather have Adam Phillips in. Um, okay. Because right. when he came on, we looked really, really good. We mm-hmm. looked good up to that point, but we looked really good when it. Then we, you know, we we Humphreys, Philo, and and and, uh, and DKD, mate. They were, yeah, they look they look quality, mate. So yeah, so you do that. So I'm going same start eleven. Uh, Beard of tights going, maybe Philo in if he's like you know match fit and up to speed. So again. More or less similar side, apart from that one change. I'm going to go, and I've said it earlier on, I'm going to go 3-1 Bar- Barnsley. Uh, I just think we, what we've been doing, you know, are creating a lot more chances like now. I think it'll be too much, and I think as game will go on, like you've just touched on there, Ryan, Rotherham, a bit, and I don't mean this is respectful for Rotherham fans, a bit dinosaurish, like their fans have been saying. Yeah. Also, with the, the older players that we've got, I think as game goes on, I think we'll have more of a fresher more legs on. And yeah, more legs. Coming yeah, on. More legs. So yeah. I'm going 3 1 Barnsley, mate. Yeah, I'm going to say 2 0 Barnsley. 2 0. Clean sheet. I'll take that. Clean sheet. I hope so. Clean sheet at home. It'd be nice to get one. <laughs> yeah, it would do. It will be. It will <laughs> it's be, been mate. a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah. <laughs> you never know. Um, 
Ryan will be the tag as always, mate. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yes, uh, like I say, remembrance uh, before the game to to one of the uh, the fallen. Um, yeah, come Friday night, who's going to be uh, Rich Red Red Side of South York? She's going to be ever bragging rights. Uh, I'll be well, it's going to be Barnes. It Robert and Sanders will be thinking it's going to be the Millers. But again, it's one of them where you know it's a game of football. I love, like I say, Yorkshire Derbies. I love them. No, no one better. Even more so when you come out with a win. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let's hope we can start weekend off with a balance of win. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Uh, one thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>